along with stitch width and stitch length, needle position adjustment is something to understand on the Husqvarna Viking Brilliant 75Q. Now you do need to be actually in a straight stitch for needle positioning. And we find that the needle position starts in the center and we'll have lots of options to move it to the right and to the left. I'm gonna show you how to adjust it that you can adjust it while you're sewing, how to get it reset back to the center the easiest, and then why you need to adjust needle position from time to time. So starting with stitch number one, go to where you can adjust the stitch information. And you'll notice down here, when you're on a straight stitch, you start with a 0, 0.0. That's center needle position, and then you have two little arrows kind of pointing to the left and to the right. So that's your indication that that is no longer stitch width adjustment, but needle position. And as I touch the little arrow below the screen, you can see the adjustments are so, so small. There's lots of different needle positions all the way to each direction. Each time you touch it, you are seeing the needle kind of moving with you. And I mentioned you can do this while you're sewing. So if you just want to step on your foot control, you can notice that you can change this while you're sewing. So the needle's really just going to be moving along the way, really giving you a crooked stitch, so nothing exciting, but it is allowing you to see how that works. And people always ask me, why can I change that while I'm sewing? Well, the nice thing is, is your needle position doesn't change position when the needle's in the fabric. It actually is changing once the needle is at the highest position. And there's kind of what's called a stepping motor up in here and you can almost kind of hear it moving to the side as you adjust it. Now as I go to the left position, you'll see that there is a minus sign in front of that number. And of course, because it's red, we know that we have changed it past its normal setting. So where do I use my needle positions to the right and to the left? Sometimes when I'm working to get a perfect quarter inch stitch, I have been known to move it just a little bit to the right. If I'm doing stitch in the ditch, I've been known instead of kind of moving my fabric a little bit when I come through intersections, you kind of know your fabric is pressed to one side at the beginning, and then after the intersection, your fabric's pressed to the other side, and there's kind of a change in your ditch. And so instead of like maneuvering my fabric, I have been known to come over here and just kind of move my needle this way and that way as I go through the intersections and follow along. Super easy actually to do. When I'm doing top stitching and want to move it to the right or to the left, that is something I can easily do if I'm working right on the edge of my fabric. I'll move it so I get the right stitch distance from say a fold that I'm working on. There's so many ways to use needle position. Without actually moving your fabric, you just kind of move your needle. So keep in mind that that is an option. Okay, a couple ways to get you back to normal. You can see I'm at minus 2.8. So I'm way over here on the left side. You can actually just touch number one down here on your sewing advisor. That will bring you back to the center. That's one way. Another way is just to return to your stitch menu and reselect stitch number one. Of course, you can turn your machine off, turn it back on. That's super easy. So just know that you should play around with needle positions, or if your pattern that you're following recommends to be in the far left or far right, you know you have the ability to change it, and you can see it change right on the screen. Take a look at all the videos that we have done on the Husqvarna Viking Brilliant 75Q so you can master your machine from beginning to end.